Hi all. Uh, we're going to do an experimental broadcast with my good friend Chris. Um, so this is directly, uh, instead of using Skype, we're going to use Twitch. Chris, can you see the board? Um, yeah, not at the moment. I got an ad again. <laughs> <laughs> we've got new issues. We've swapped old issues for new issues with this new method. I got an advertisement again. Ah. But it will resume in six seconds, it tells me. Ah. So. Ah, you've got the echo. Yeah, for whatever reason, um, I just I, I turned off sound, but no, t t mute the uh, thing on the uh, Twitch. If you mute, mute. Yeah, actually, I actually did, but uh, okay, now it's working. It's muted. All oh, right. So you can but still uh, see the board if I plan. Yeah. Move, you can see the board. I can see the board. It's just an. All oh, right. Yeah. All right. So this is one of your yeah. classic games. Uh, in 2010, uh, so November 2010, 28th of November. Yeah, it's a quite a quite a remarkable game, and it shows that um, even with seemingly uh, somewhat tame openings, you can uh, get a nice kingside attack at times, or an attack on the king at least. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and play knight f3. Yep. This was played in um in um in the German uh, league. And um, I, the opponent um, is a Dutch international master. Uh -huh. So um, not Rof actually. Rofuis, Vincent Rofuis. Yeah, okay. yeah, Rothuis, <laughs> red, red, red house. <laughs> I think it would be the Close. would be the tr tr translation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I went uh, knight f3, and um, I'm not quite. I think he started with c6 actually. Yeah. yeah. Not uh, not d5, but uh, it amounts to the same thing. I played c4 now. Then he played d5, so it looks like. Um, but now you elect to go in a sort of Catalan with g3. Yeah, after d5, White uh, has of course uh, quite quite some options. He can also protect the c4 pawn with e3 or b3. Uh, stuff like this but you can also go g3 which I played mm. and um, which is uh, in a way uh, a move white wants to play mm. but uh, the issue with g3 of course is that it leaves the c4 pawn unprotected mm. so um, it's a uh, it's a move which is basically a um, yeah, pawn sacrifice as black can take the pawn and also keep the pawn if he wants to mm. um, and uh, in fact he did this he captured on c4 if I yeah. remember correctly so now bishop g2, and now he plays knight d7. Yeah, this is actually a bit um, a bit of an unusual move order. Um, if uh, black wants to keep the pawn, um, for sure keep the pawn, then he would uh, have to play b5. Mm. But this is of course risky. White is uh, very much ahead in development. He can castle and. It's got so many extra tempi. Mm. Okay, my knight d7 is uh, is a bit unusual here. Mm. Uh, knight f6 maybe is the 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 normal kind of move, but it's not bad. Knight uh, knight d7. Mm. Um, I think I castled now, right? No, actually, you played queen c2, attacking the pawn. I played play queen c2. Okay, okay. I, I'm I'm I don't don't remember exactly. Queen c2, right? Okay, and. Um, yeah, now c4 is hanging, and he needs to attend to this. Really, if he just allows me to uh, to recapture the pawn, then I would be uh, yeah, just uh, slightly better for nothing, I guess, with the extra center pawn. Yes, he could he could maybe play e5, which is isn't so bad. But um, so yeah, I think yeah, he holds on to it. I remember playing a similar gamut to you once in the game. I was unlucky. I think I was nearly winning and. I played this gambit against you. It's quite common in the Catalan to sack your pawn. Yeah, it is. The the difference here um, compared to a normal Catalan setup is that, of course, White's d pawn is still home and on d2. Mm. And this is uh, quite a difference as White has got okay one extra tempo for his pieces uh, in a way. Mm. And sometimes um, White uh, doesn't doesn't even play d4 later. He sometimes just plays d3 which is uh, also a possibility like d3 black takes on d3 and 
ideally um, a piece would recapture on d3, let's say a rook, let's say white castles rook d1, d3. This is a bit of a difference, um, but uh, it makes only sense to, to play later if really a piece can capture on d3. Mm. Queen d3 is uh, nothing you would like to have. But what we get here is um, something completely different. I played b3 immediately. Yeah. And um, this is um, actually questionable if, if it really, in case of, if you look for an advantage for white, maybe I, I'm, I needed to play a move like a4, but, um, well, he could have, um, he could have, um, have had a pretty decent position, mm. but he, he played uh, strangely after b3. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's, I think, look at the game. Yeah. Um, b3 and then then he took on b3 yeah which is fine it's, it's just a bit unusual looking yeah. and now I, I grabbed the c6 pawn yeah and so he his rooks attacked he moved simply that rook yeah exactly and then um, rook b8 and uh, then I just uh, captured on uh, b3 if I remember now you got pressure on a7 of course automatically but he has got potential Annoying moves to evict your queen. Yeah, exactly. He will gain temp tempi. But I think now um, he played some some weird move now. <laughs> e6. Yeah, and this is uh, really strange. Um, and also, I, I didn't understand it. Really, he can just play in this position. Um, a move like bishop b7. Yeah, because if you take on b5, he's got bishop takes f3. Yeah, exactly. You can play bishop b7, which I, hmm. yeah, which I expected, and then uh, I, I, yeah. This, this is uh, was he drinking a lot the night before? Was it a fun team event <laughs> like the four in Seattle? <laughs> he played easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just, just, and, just uh, kidding. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm really not sure what was what was the point. He could have well, played bishop b7. I, I would need to return, I think, to c2 maybe, and then he can just play a move like a6, for instance. Covering this a pawn conveniently and yeah. this looks black, um, yeah, black black seems seems okay. Yeah, That's I have an extra cent center pawn, so maybe given the, the the choice, I would still maybe like white, but it's not like I've got got an advantage. I, yeah, uh, I have made so many queen moves uh, and black developed catch the uh, sort of caught up in development. Yeah, but not sure. He played e six. Yeah. And then, um, after considering for one or two minutes, I just grabbed this pawn. Yeah, it does stop bishop b7, and it looks as though there's no immediate problem. He's not really in a developed position to spring a major surprise here, is he? Yeah, and, and the thing is, um, maybe maybe he was somehow thinking about bishop c5. Ah. Not sure, maybe this was the idea. Um, you got rook takes d7 here, haven't you? Or has he yeah, been? yeah. I can take on d7, or I can also go. Uh, I think rook a8 if everything else fails. Ah. But this, uh, this should be working. Maybe this was what what he overlooked because otherwise, if I would uh, need to move the rook back, then bishop b7 just wins. Right. But I think both rook a8 and uh, also rook d7. Rook d7 is uh, is. Um, All right. So did you have did you do you create contingency moves? Uh, because you realise bishop b7 is quite dangerous then, so you, you, you've at least worked out here after rook takes a7 that you've got rook a8, because actually... Um, yeah, so otherwise it would be it would be tricky, this, you've got rook these takes pieces... Here, haven't you now, in this position? Yeah, yeah, I needed to um, to calculate this, exactly, this uh, this yeah. would, would work, but um, okay. also rook d7, rook d7 also, yeah. I think it's better even. Yeah. But uh, okay, this is not working, and then you can really ask yourself, what the heck was Black doing here? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'm just a pawn up, but yeah. okay, that's not the point of the game. It's not like I was winning with an extra pawn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, knight f6, and um, to be honest, I don't remember what I played. So I'll, I'll show you the moves. It's okay. Uh, we've got a downside, haven't we? That I c we're not. You're not seeing the screen, but I can show you the moves. Just, just, just prompt me for a move, and I'll show you. So knight c3. I don't remember my own move right. games exactly, uh, just you know vaguely. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's it's two years ago. <laughs> so so it's still, still the the issue is that on bishop c5 I can go rook a8, and um, yes, 
and um, we got someone uh, writing in the chat room here. Oh. Um, it's it's not quite sure what what uh, would be interesting to, to learn if you've got sound issues. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, if 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 there's any sound issues, please raise them in in the chat. If uh, only if you know. Okay, but hopefully there isn't because we're we're sort of um, this is a new method, uh, less CPU intensive. So hopefully. Uh, so okay, so here the B the B pawn is is attacked. He just moves it to B four, here. Yeah, I'm right. So he's blocked in his own bishop though. But he's you got that B five square, which you make use of now. Yeah, and now uh, after knight B five, uh, mm. it um, it it starts to get a bit ugly. Yeah, <laughs> knight 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 C seven check is an idea, or yeah. knight D six at some point. Yeah, and well, after all, I'm a pawn up, mm. so. <laughs> Um, yeah. So he plays bishop c5 to sort of at least maybe give his king. Um, he wants to give his king a chance to escape, and uh, you play you play the check. Anyway, so your bishop, your he's attacking the rook, but you play knight d6 check here first. Yeah, right. Okay, and then he moves his king. Um, okay, so with your rook attacked. Uh, you find another attacking move of this knight um, in this position. Um, so this this is where it gets in very interesting, actually. So how you've ex if exploit this position? If I remember correctly, uh, I just took on f7, right? Yeah. Yeah. the The fun thing is that uh, even uh, with white not completely developed, you can. You can uh, attack immediately here, and now mm. this uh, also forks queen and uh, and rook. He's not. He's got not much else than uh, than just taking the knight, I guess. Well, actually, in the game, he didn't immediately take the knight. He played queen e7. Um, ah, queen e7. Yeah, I, I remember. I, um, I remember. If yeah, if he if he takes, I think bishop g4, g5 also is uh, quite. Quite deadly. I think knight g5 ch check surely here yeah, looks yeah looks crushing. Um, or is that is there something else? Um, yeah. Or knight sorry knight e5 check knight, um, knight, knight e5 <laughs> check. Um, if you look at this now, okay, 